Okay, I don't know about you, but for me, romantic dinners usually involve strawberries and more so chocolate covered strawberries. You want a, a larger strawberry, and we're going to cut the bottom off so that it'll stand up. You can't do them on smaller ones, but it's a little bit easier with the bigger ones. Okay, now I want to do is show you how to make a strawberry rose, which you could use alone or we're going to add chocolate to it to make it a little extra special. Alright, now basically you're going to do little petals coming down kind of like we did on the radish. You're going to do your sides, but we're going to go a little further and we're going to do some inside. Now it's easier for me to hold it like this, everybody's different. Watch your fingers. You're going to do petals like that. I do the two sides first. Now while you're working with them, let them go back and stick so they're not in your way. Like that. You can move them over a little bit so you don't have to worry about cutting them. All right, now open them up. Okay, now you could just leave it like that or go in between the two petals and you're going to do another cut. Same thing, making basically a, a petal inside the petal. Now when you're cutting, you want to start off and go a little deeper down so that it holds. Go all the way around. Okay, now you can leave it just like that. Or you can take another step further and do some more. It's just a little easier, I think, if you do it across. Do an X right in the middle. And it'll open it up. Now you're going to do all your strawberries, however many you want to do. Put it aside and kind of let it dry out a little bit because all the moisture is going to be coming out of it right now. So I'm going to do a couple more. Okay, so now we've got the strawberries that are cut into little roses. Now this is my little take on a chocolate covered strawberry rose. Alright, now basically after we do this and you let them sit out for a little bit to dry, not be so moist. You're going to pat them gently, okay, gently dry. Now, I found it easier to actually take the strawberry and put it on a small cutting board, a little plate, whatever is easier for you. This is my little chocolate over here. It's already melted. Get a paintbrush. Get a decent paintbrush so you don't have to worry about the bristles coming off. Okay, pull all your puddles out. kind of the way you want them to be. You can use the end of the paintbrush to stick in the middle. Okay, so now you're just going to get some chocolate on there and you're just basically going to paint it. And who doesn't like to paint with chocolate? I mean, that's the best. Okay, hopefully you can see that. So basically you're just going to keep going all the way around. Now. So I'm going to keep doing that, but it's going to take a minute. Now to get your little chocolate right in the middle, take the end of your paintbrush, open it back up. Okay, take a knife or a little spoon or something, get a little bit of chocolate on there. And we're going to dab it down inside. Uh, it's mainly strawberries, of course. Doesn't have that super hard shell. Now you could, you could get a hard shell if you just keep painting it, put it in the refrigerator to set, and just give it another coat. You can make it, you know, as thick as you like. Give it a nice paint job of chocolate. Okay, I'm going to stop, show you again what the final product looks like, like this. 
And like I said, the chocolate's going to make it a lot more sturdier compared to as, you know, as flimsy as this is. The chocolate makes it, gives it a nice little shell on the outside. So kind of the way you set the strawberry, your little petals, before you paint them, when you put them in the refrigerator set, that's how they're going to be. So, hope you enjoy this as a little extra something special.